What's up, everyone, and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. Here at Best Car Reviews, I try to bring you the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, then please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. The Lincoln Nautilus is that luxury crossover in their lineup, and in my opinion, it's always been kind of a car that I've slept on, never really paid much attention to, but this 2024 redesign has been bringing some really, really elevated looks, very competitive in their segment, and I think it's going to be very popular, and the price points are, although a little high, not out of reach, and kind of, you know, right where they need to fall, given its category and what it's trying to achieve. But if you're loving the design, then stay tuned, because today we're going to go through all the trims and the key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from Lincoln. Let's dive in. The 2024 Lincoln Nautilus will come at you with three different trim levels for Premier, Reserve, and Black Label. Premier starts you off at 54.15, Reserve at 54.750, and the Black Label with a significant hike up to 74,465. So only three trims here. Usually it's a little easier or potentially more difficult to pick a trim that you love at a price point that you can afford when there's many different trim levels. But given there's only three, you have more limited options, but there's still, if this is the kind of vehicle you want, there's gonna be an option here for you. Engine options in 2024, the standard is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, giving you 250 horsepower, 275 pound-feet of torque. These can also all be optioned with a hybrid system, which adds to that two liter turbocharged four cylinder, a 100 kilowatt motor, giving you up to 310 horsepower, so about 60 more over that base gas engine. If you opt for the two liter turbo, just gas, you get an eight speed automatic transmission, hybrid setup will get you a CVT transmission. And new for 2024, the drivetrain, you get all wheel drive standard. As far as MPGs go, they are not available as of right now, but it's said to expect uh, in the realm of 22 miles per gallon combined from city and highway. And I threw this down here, expect the hybrid MSRP, uh, you know, the starting prices to be about $2,000 higher than their gas counterparts. We'll take a look now at the pictures that have been released of this Nautilus from Lincoln as we go through some of the features. So this is a total redesign for 2024, and this luxury crossover is, like I said, bringing exceptional looks. This is the second generation of the Nautilus. All design aspects of this Nautilus are very well done, in my opinion. And if you read Lincoln's release information, they are taking a lot of pride in the exceptional design and quality of this Nautilus. I've never really given this design the time of day before now, like I mentioned, but now it would be a top runner. I was in the market for a vehicle of this caliber. The biggest things to note for 2024, the changes include all-wheel drive coming standard, as we just mentioned, and all uh, on all the trims, as well as the V6 being retired, that twin turbo V6, or the other uh, form of that V6. All models in this lineup look phenomenal, provide great looks. There's no settling for a lesser design for less money. The front end design, including the grille and headlights, are looking fantastic. The taillight stretching the width of the back is always a solid look too, and Lincoln has done very well with it, and very well making it look different than other cars that have this. The wheel size range on this Nautilus is from 19 to 22 inches, depending on which trim you buy and how you option. Obviously a 22 inch wheel is you know, usually accompanied by a higher price tag. You expect that 19 inch to be on the lower end trim, lower options. All models have available jet appearance package to bring elevated looks to your Nautilus. This includes pillar black and body color details, a unique grill, and available high gloss black 22 inch wheels. So if you opt for that jet back appearance on the black label, which already has uh, standard 22 inch wheels, you get unique 22 inch wheels if you opt for that jet appearance package. In the end here, the best bang for your buck in my opinion is going to be the reserve getting you more from the get-go with only a few extra thousand over the Premier, but dodging that major hike up to the black label, the reserve gets you all the looks and capability. We'll take a look now at some interior shots that have been released while we go through those features. This is equally as nice on the inside as the outside. Lincoln is boasting a meticulously thought through and handcrafted design, and they have the looks to back it up. 
high quality materials, and more leather for 2024. There's an 11.1 inch infotainment screen paired with an enormously large and very clear digital gauge area featuring connected navigation, personalization capabilities, the weather, the clock, all the things you can imagine are going to be on this. And this is 48 inches long. And we all know what Michael Scott would say after that. The Jet Appearance package on the interior adds the exclusive black onyx interior with copper coat aluminum. Available heated and ventilated perfect position front seats offer 24 ways to adjust. There's also active motion massage option. Taillight and headlamp lighting sequences are there as you approach your Nautilus. Three scent cartridges in the center armrest release aromas ranging from patchouli to cashmere to fresh linen so your Nautilus can smell good. Offers a 28 speaker Revel Ultima 3D audio system for exceptional sound. Lincoln Blue Cruise 1.2 technology allows you to operate this Nautilus hands-free while keeping your eyes on the road and this updated version consists of lane change and inline repositioning. Numerous driver's assist safety and technology features optional if not standard. Overall, I don't have anything to complain about on this interior and no matter which trim you buy, you should love what you receive in this Nautilus. In review guys, when we break down this Nautilus, what it has to offer, you're staring in the face of a mid $50,000 price tag and you want to figure out if it's worth your money. We got a great design that speaks for itself. Yes, the love of a design is up to each person individually, but if you love it, that it's there for you because this is a very, very well designed vehicle in my opinion. So you have that, you're going to have the MPGs that are fine and they're going to be okay. This is a crossover. It's not the biggest car you can buy. But paired with that four cylinder, it's going to do just fine. It's going to get you good mileage for its size. Um, along with those great looks, you know, it, it kind of looks luxurious from the outside as well as sporty. And when you move on to the interior, you're getting that huge screen setup that's totally unique. I've not seen that really on anything else. You know, there are some vehicles that offer a very wide screen across the dash, but nothing that looks just like this. It looks very cool. And paired with a nice size infotainment screen as well. So, as well as high quality materials. Depending on how you option, you know, you can really make this uh, Nautilus exactly how you want it. So for the price tag, for $50,000, $55,000, or even if you want to go up to the $75,000, you're getting a plenty to enjoy your ride and really feel like you get your money's worth. So if this is the car you want, and go for it because you're going to get a great product. Hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thanks for watching this best car review. Please subscribe if not already. And if you have an idea for a future car review, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I'll catch you on the next. Best car review.